I thought I'd go ahead and mention that if you want to do a firmware update on the Belkin, uh, which I'm going to do to see if it helps, uh, if it needs a firmware update and if it helps resolve the performance issues I was uh, experiencing before, basically what you do is you uh, go to the uh, to the adapter itself and it has a uh, button on it, a connect button. You press that down, unplug it from, unplug the USB power adapter, keep the button uh, depressed, plug the USB power adapter back in, let it go through its boot cycle, and when it's done, it will come to the firmware update page. It will give you the IP address of the device. You'll need to connect to the actual Wi-Fi network called Wi-Fi Video Receiver, as indicated on the screen here. Um, you need to disconnect from your existing network and connect to this one. Um, then you can go to 1.16 to .16.1 on your, uh, on your uh, PC or tablet. Um, You'll have wanted to download the new firmware to your PC while you're connected to the old network and before you connect to the, uh, to the network that's being broadcast by the uh, Belkin adapter. Uh, you go ahead and go to your PC, connect to the uh, 16.1 address that's listed there. Um, it'll take you to the interface page. Hang on a second, I'll move the uh, camera over here. Okay, now we've got the camera looking at the screen here. And this is the Belkin. We're connected to the Belkin here, so we'll go ahead and click on Firmware Update. We'll browse on my uh, PC to my Downloads folder, where I have the... Uh, let's see where I've got that here. This right here, this is version 2.4-RC2.5 is the, is the image file for the firmware upgrade. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, run that. We were run. looks like we were running STS-2.3. So this is 2.4. Okay, I'm back once again. Uh, this time it looks like the firmware update did take. You can see that yellow bar across the bottom of the screen. Um, that is the uh, firmware update progress. So it is finally working. Um, I will let it finish here. I'll be right back and we will take another look at some video and see if things have improved. All right, the uh, firmware update is just about done. Let's see what happens here. All right, after a few uh, reboots, the Miracast adapter did, did come back after upgrading the firmware. And as you can see, the screen is a little bit uh, different, quite different actually. We're now on firmware version 2.4. And we are going to go ahead and uh, do some additional testing to see if maybe the performance has improved with the firmware update. So let me go ahead and go through my little process here. Go into settings, change PC settings, PC and devices, devices, add a device, searching for the Miracast adapter, and it has found it. So we'll go ahead and connect to it. And it is trying to connect, and it's still trying to connect. And it connection failed, so let's try that again. Try adding a device. And we are not finding it. So hang on a second folks, I'm going to reboot the uh, adapter and see if I can connect to it after that. Hang on. Alrighty, the adapter is rebooting itself once again. And we're going to try to connect to it once it's ready to go. I have to admit I'm getting a little frustrated with this process. Alrighty, and the adapter has rebooted, so let's give it a try. Add a device, searching for devices, it's found the television, the, the uh, Miracast adapter, and it says your television quit waiting, try adding it again. So we're going to try it again here. Once the adapter is done trying to connect. And so far, we're not being very successful. The adapter should give up at some point. And the connection failed. Right, let's try it one more time. Surface Pro 3 is searching for devices. And now it's uh, gone back to the, uh, the adapter has gone back to the original screen. We'll see if the Surface Pro 3 can find it. So far we're not having a lot of luck. Just for kicks, let's uh, Pull out the Dell Venue 8 Pro here and see if it'll connect. 
I'm going to go in here to PC and Devices, Devices, and let's see if we can get it to connect. It's found it, and the Dell Venue 8 Pro is trying to connect. Venue Pro is now connected. One difference, like, well, actually, it's still chopped off. Uh, the Venue 8 Pro has 1280 by 800 resolution, uh, which is which is less than the screen's native resolution. Alrighty, I've tried fiddling with the uh, display settings, and I can't seem to get the uh, the display on the uh, Miracast adapter to uh, to display the screen without chopping off the top and the bottom. Uh, but let's go ahead and try some video while we're at it. Now we're trying Netflix video from the Dell Venue 8 Pro, which I would have imagined would be higher quality. Um, uh, there is there is less pixelation. There's a lot of banding in the background, but that's also apparent on the Venue 8 Pro, so I'm not sure if I'm just not getting a good high-res signal from Netflix. Um, but there is less there is less choppiness, there's less pixelation. So it looks like the 1280 by 800 resolution of the Dell Venue 8 Pro is is better for Miracast than the full high res that's being sent out by the Surface Pro 3. So that's actually much better quality if I'm if I'm running it from the Dell. So we took a look at Netflix video. Let's check out some Hulu video here. We'll go back to the same Planet of the Apes trailer that we ran earlier and let's see how that performs. Again, this is lower res on the 12A by 800 resolution on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Still having quite a bit of uh, of a delay in getting things started on on Hulu here. All right, so we've got the video running on Hulu. There is some pixelation and some choppiness. We're not having the dropouts in the sound that we have with the Surface Pro 3. Um, and as things buffer, it looks like the video is decent enough. So once again. I would not rate this as high quality as the Chromecast from uh, Android tablets. Right now it's decent enough. Performance is okay. I'll have to do some longer term testing, watch an entire movie and see how it does. Uh, but right now things are good enough. Alright, I think that's enough. I'm going to give the Surface Pro 3 another try in connecting and we'll see how it does. All right, folks, I'm going to give uh, the Surface Pro 3 one more try to connect. And if it doesn't work this time, then we are going to give up on the uh, Belkin Miracast adapter. All right, I'm going to try to connect here. All right, well, I've been sitting here for a few minutes now waiting for this, uh, for this adapter to connect to the Surface Pro 3, and I'm not having any luck. I don't know which, to, which, which device to blame, the Surface Pro 3 or the Miracast adapter. The Dell connected fine. Surface Pro 3 is not so not having so much luck, um, but regardless, that that kind of inconsistency doesn't really bode well for uh, for for the adapter. So, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that as a no buy for the Tech Chat. Uh, if you do want to give the Belkin Miracast adapter a try, you'll might uh, you want to make sure that you buy it from somewhere with a good return policy, um, because you'll uh, you you so far I'm I'm 50/50 on getting my devices to connect to it. So, uh, so that's it. Thanks a lot, folks. Um, again, comments below, and we'll talk to you later.